G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got all set up. I am going to do a bloom spin. Or is it a spin bloom? Not sure. Uh, inspiration from this pour from the lovely Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Hey Karen, she's been spinning blooms and uh, they're just great. And I've been tilting blooms and I thought, oh, I wonder what will happen if I spin because I've got those little, you know, those little pink spinners that you've seen um, that I use for my little tiles and things. But I've also got, um, oh, I've glued it on. Well, not glued it. It's taped, double-sided tape under here. It's just a bigger turntable. Uh, it's only about that high and I've just lifted it up off the table. So it's about that big. So I've just put this canvas on top this is a 40 centimeter square so this is a bloom that I've done previously same size but it wasn't spun it was just blown out with the hairdryer hopefully you've seen my video if you haven't you can go back and look at the video on how I did this one I just blew it with the hairdryer and then I tilted it so using similar colors except I don't think I've got red in this one um, purple green, pink, uh, navy blue, turquoise, and a bright blue. So I'm going to see how those go. So looking for something similar to this, I guess. So we'll see how we go. Um, our, and I should probably tell you what this is. This is, um, I bought this about oh, almost a year ago when I was spinning um, other paws. I've still got my little contraption that I made. It was the inside of a fan mechanism that I sat underneath and it, I just pushed a button and it spun. But I don't think I need that much power, so I'm just using the turntable. But I bought this. Um, I didn't actually use it at the time because I did a few spins and yeah, I wasn't really that happy with them, so I put the little machine away. This is a portable dog bath or dog little pool. It's a... Uh, 30 inches across, um, I think it was 75 centimetres, so it fits nicely on my table. Anyway, enough of that chatting. Oh, I got it on eBay. So it's called a dog, portable dog bath. So if you Google that, I'm sure you'll find one if you want it. <clears throat> Let's get started. Oh, there's some fluff. And I'm using this for my pillow paint. It's just the British Paints Low Sheen Wall in White. It just says white down there, okay? Um, <clears throat> the cell activator, when I'm using my hair dryer, I like the cell activator to be thicker. So instead of my usual three to one, it's two to one. So it's two parts flow troll. This is the Aussie flow troll to one part Amsterdam titanium white. So that's what that is. Let me get my gloves on because this is very messy. I've got my hair dryer organized. I'm gonna blow it with the hair dryer. This has got a cool setting and a warm setting. And I've just got my little two medicine cups taped on the end and then I've cut the bottom out just to make a small nozzle so that I can get. I, this one has got one of those wide, narrow ones, but I wanna be able to control it more. So I've just got a small it's about an inch wide, I guess, two and a half centimetres across. So I'm going to use that to blow my cell activator. All right, I think I've told you everything. I'm not going to go through all my pouring medium and that. It's in other videos. It's, it's just going to take way too long. And I want to get started because I'm keen to see what's going to happen. Now, you do need a good size puddle. I think... Yeah, that's probably about it. I like it to be, when I'm doing my little tiles, I have it about an inch from the edge. So this is probably about an inch and a half, I guess, from the edge. Let's put a bit more over here. Does use a lot of paint, this technique. It's quite expensive technique to do. Maybe if, You've got so you know a friend that lives nearby. You can share the cost of all the um, <clears throat> the pouring mediums and the paints and everything. 
Okay, oi, stop running away. Now, I don't know what I want to do with my paints yet, what order. I think I'm just going to, because it's so big, I'm going to kind of put blobs here and there. And just see what happens, because I do need to make like quite a big puddle in the middle, because it's got such a long way to go. And instead of using the nozzles, I'm just going to do this because <clears throat> I need a decent amount of paint. Put the nozzles back on later. Now, what's going to go nice with <clears throat> green? The pink I want relatively close to the top, I think. So, I don't know what that colour is. Navy blue. And some turquoise. Kind of overlapping, you know, a little bit, some of the colours. Hopefully I'll get a, a nice variety of, of shadings, of colours, by doing it like this. A little bit of purple over there and then my pink I'm kind of off center aren't I it's because I was pouring more that way maybe I need to put some more color over here to balance it mm, okay let's do some pink and see what that looks like So you don't have to do blobs, you can do lines, you can do zigzags, you know, go crazy, whatever you want to do. Um, no, I'm not going to put any of that in there. I've got enough lime. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. All right, I'm just going to put the lids on all of these real quick before I knock them over in my excitement. Put the lids on everything. And that can just sit there for a minute. Now, I think I've got enough colour sort of spaced around, hey? Okay, now, just put you back in the middle a little bit. Right, now here we go with the cell activator. Now, it's a bit hard to know how much to use because it's like four times bigger than what I would normally use. So let's go one, two, three, four times then. Four times what I would normally do, maybe. I don't know, I'm nervous. All right, cross your fingers for me. I'm just gonna blow this paint out. I'm low, I'm cool. Wish me luck, guys. Whoa. I did it, I did it, I did it. I don't know how good it was, but I did it. <laughs> that was quick. I just kind of, as you saw, I just had it in one area and then I just moved this around. Right, now I can see a huge dip in the middle um, <clears throat> where my wind hit that centerpiece. Now I wonder if I can actually get any more cells in the middle. I'm just going to get my little torch, my little um, fan blower just to see if I can get some cells in the middle. Bear with me. This little guy. I don't want to blow any more with the hairdryer, but I want to see if I can get some little cells in the middle. No, I can't. So there's obviously I've blown really 
quite hard and maybe my paint's gone all the way to the, the bottom hitting the canvas no doubt I can actually see there's a big dent there but let's not judge just yet <coughs> excuse me still got my cough I'm gonna wait and just see what happens in the past where the middle has been touching it still worked out okay when I've tilted those cells have kind of just gone over the top of the middle and it has still worked so cross fingers because those colors are just divine oh my gosh and I love this it's probably um, yeah just cutting the bottom out of it just gives that a little bit more control Wow look at those colors and because I did blobs everywhere the whole thing doesn't look the same like over here we've got the lime here we've got the purple we've got the turquoise the green look at the oh look at the white over the purple there you know it's all different I just hope to all hope that my center is going to look pretty because that's where your eyes drawn isn't it to the middle all right oh I was about to get it up and start um, tilting but no now I'm just going to wet the corners there just to help the paint flow over oh I'm really nervous you guys but look, that was the first step, the blow. The blow is the hardest thing to get right. If you don't do a decent blow, uh, you're not going to get nice lacing. But, you know, <clears throat> trying to blow a big one like this with my mouth, it's just too hard. Now you can see there the white is getting smaller. I might just put the video on pause because I don't want to keep you waiting. I'm just going to wait like another two minutes <clears throat> and just see if, if that paint can come back into the middle. And I might zoom, zoom you a little bit more so that you can get a bit more of a close-up now that you've seen my, my little contraption there. All right, now I'm going to come back in two minutes, all right? See ya. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. Look at that. Hey, okay. how gorgeous is that? Can we just leave it like that? <gasps> oh. Okay, let's do this. Let's spin the bloom. Now. If you want to see how this is done watch Karen's video I will put the link to her video in my description down below <clears throat> so check her out she does amazing amazing pause right <clears throat> all right you ready Karen <laughs> wish me luck oh, here we go And there's a lot of paint, so I'm going to have to do it quite a few times. Oh, look, there goes the paint. We're starting to make a mess, you guys. Starting to make a mess. And again. And I'm going to try not to get my drippy fingers in it, because that would be awful, wouldn't it? Oh, look, it's so pretty. Now, there's this is going over, and this isn't going over just yet, so I'm just going to tilt that. We didn't need to actually stick it down with some double-sided tape. I'm just about holding my breath here, you guys, as I'm doing this. <sighs> okay, so the sides have gone over here, but not here yet. Now, I wonder if I need to tilt that a little bit. I don't really want to tilt it because my middle is really pretty. I actually really like that white in the middle now. So let's just keep going. I'm sure it'll get there eventually. I'll just have to keep 
keep spinning. It's so exciting. Look, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, do I want to keep the white corners, you guys? This is the question. Do I want to keep the white corners? Here we go again. I'll just keep, I'm checking the composition each time. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's so pretty. Wow. It's just a shame I'm losing all this gorgeousness off the sides because I'm trying to finish here. All right, I'm just gonna have to keep going. Oh, is that backwards? Is that the other way? No, it's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is nerve wracking. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna see if I can get all the corners covered. You know, if I have to leave a little bit of white, I will, because look at this over here. It's just gone over. Oh my gosh. And that white middle has stayed white and I don't mind that at all you know I thought it was going to bother me but it's not okay where's my, oh, where, where is it now I don't know where I am now I think that's about it let me wipe my hands oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm so excited all right I'm gonna go again even though I love this I don't want this to go I do still want some of this to go That holding my breath oh look that corner's gone now now it's just this one all right here we go is that okay do i have to get that white corner that little bit there kind of bothers me i wonder if i can no you see once there's my, oh, there it is underneath. I can't really show you because I'm dripping paint everywhere. All right, I'm going to go again. Oh, so close, you guys. Oh, so close. Did I do it? Oh, so close. Look, a little tiny bit. And again. tiny bit of green just there oh just there. I've just put my finger in let me see if I can just fix that little tiny bit of green up with the uh, put it on my finger maybe you see that's a different color green now because the other greens blended a bit with the white oh look it's such a tiny little tiny little corner it's probably not worth not worth worrying about is it let's see if i can just touch that and drag all right i'm gonna leave it like that it's it's looking blended it's looking blended each of the corners gets a little bit blended oh my gosh you guys take it down for a close-up and uh, then I need to work out where to put it. I'm just going to run my little tool underneath. So if you look at the sides there's really not that much paint on the sides. It kind of spins um, off to the bottom. Oh look at the sides. You've got to see these sides. Wow. I'll show you the sides in a minute. Got lacing down the sides. Just try it ever so gently to get those drips. See, most of the paint, as I said, is down the bottom, so I can easily change that little puppy petal pad under there. Oh my gosh! I'm 
so excited, you guys. Karen, look what I did. Thank you so much for showing us this idea. I sent Karen the link of where to get these little doggy baths because I know she's a bit short on space where she is, so maybe she'll find it useful to have one. So, oh, I'm going to take you down for a close up. This is just gorgeous. I do say so, so myself. I hope I don't sound conceited, but I think this is the most beautiful thing I've ever created. I'm going to turn the light off. Whoops. Now I was going to start over in this corner. Look at that lacing. Now you can see how important it is to make your white a little bit thicker so that it keeps that white on top. Well, it, it does take on the colour of whatever's underneath. So because I had a pink blob right in the middle um, most of my lacing is pink but then when it spreads out to the outside perimeters it takes on the colors of those colors underneath so there it's aqua here it's kind of <clears throat> that lime green it's kind of a bit white over the blue there oh so pretty and then we've got this beautiful traditional bloom like the center of a flower and that beautiful stark white right in the center it's so pretty so it just gives the eye somewhere to rest doesn't it it's not looking as bright through here as it's looking in real life maybe i do need to put my little light back on let's see i don't know if that makes any difference yeah i think it looks a little bit brighter so there you go what do you think love it so i have got on order one of those uh, rotating cake stands it's quite high I don't know whether or not it'll be too high to sit inside this doggy pool. Um, maybe the paint will fly right over the top of it. I'm not sure yet, but um, I'll get it's it's on order, so it'll come. And if it doesn't, if it's too high, then I'll just stick to what I've got here because this is working just beautifully. So oh, I'm so excited. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to check out Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Her bloom spins. And um, I will see you all real soon for the next video. <clears throat> um, I think this is going to be my seventh, 700th video. I'm only up to 695 now, so this is a bit in advance. But because it's, I think, the most beautiful thing I've created, this will be my number 700 video. All right, look forward to another 700. Thanks for all your love and support and all your subscribing. Please share. Love for my art to get out there a little bit more. All right, I'm going to shut up and move this baby somewhere safe so it can dry. I'm going to put it under a big net so no bugs can get into it. All right, love you all. See you real soon. Bye for now. I'm so excited.